Hello and welcome back to me playing some Final Fantasy X. I'm Mindless Meat, and last time we were just outside the temple. Guardians allowed, and I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. It very much is. I don't remember these puzzles all that much, but I will do my best to collect everything I can. Uh, Kilika Sphere. And yes, that fire definitely indicates that uh, we are getting Ifrit this time. Take sphere. Nice. Okay. Uh, is that another? Yes, yeah, insert Gilica sphere. Uh, take sphere. The sphere. I don't think these puzzles are all that complicated in general, uh, especially these first few. Later ones, I might actually have to look up and see how to get them all. Because. I want to say that these are one-time things. Uh, let's see here. Take. Insert. Okay, so that was not it. Can I move this one? It would be, nope, I can't get in there. Okay. Okay, well, we'll take this and we will... No, don't, don't push it. A glyph appears. Okay, I think I can put this back here. Now I can take this one. Come on. Take sphere. And I can now put this here. Glyph repels me. Okay, well, what's over here? Okay. Oh, touch cliff. Aha. Okay, so I know there's this one. Yep, take this. But 
wait, wait. What if I put this here? Uh, okay, or not. Ah, okay, so there's a thing there. Destruction Sphere, okay. Oh no. Wait, no, I can put it back here. I can put it in this thing. Okay. So... Just kind of... Nope, okay. Let's see here. So we'll take this. Come on, put it in there. Yes, insert. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that destruction sphere and hopefully uh, put it in one of the things and it will destroy something and we can get our treasure. See here. Nope, not there. Uh oh, this seems very uh odd, okay. So what I'm probably gonna do is grab this. You there. Yep. Okay. Like it when puzzles are not are very obtuse to this. All right, so we'll shove this over here. Aha. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> Let's grab one of the fire ones then. Take. Okay, so you. Aha! What are you? You are a... Take... Another Kilika Sphere, okay. Uh, we're gonna put this Kilika Sphere here. Actually, I kinda wanna take this out. <laughs> I don't want to leave it there. No, that's the destruction sphere. Mm. 
Yep. All right. So now we're going to take this and put it where that one was. That other Kilika Sphere was. And then... We'll see what happens. Aha! Red armlets. Um, take a sphere. And take a sphere. Goes away. <laughs> All right, and up we go. Still holding that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big musclehead man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Yeah, this church is corrupt anyway. Who cares? The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Huh? Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. <gasps> oh, I just want to talk to you, Kamari. Just wait. Okay. Oh, there. Don't worry, Titus. You'll be able to see what a faith looks like. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Ifrit. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Equip. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this do? Magic defense? No, we're, we want... Uh, we want this because we can't actually add anything at the moment. Red armlet. Oh, oh, Kamari. That's just really good. Yes.
I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Yeah, not quite. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> ah! So I have a couple questions, though. He comes from Xanarkand, and... Uh... For everybody who actually probably watches this, uh, because I honestly don't get all that many views, uh, we already know where his Xanarchand is. Who are his opposing teams? Because he is in a, he is actually in a uh, part of the Xanarchand Abes. Who are his opposing teams? Ooh, we will summon you. Because it's not like they're coming from other cities. I mean, are there other cities other than Xanarkin? Uh, Meteor Strike. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious because I mean he is he's like captain of the Xanarkand Abes and because he's the captain uh yeah well my thought yeah, I mean that's kind of my thoughts is who are his opposing teams is there like a bunch of different Xanarkand uh, groups. Yep, oh, okay. Summon. Uh. I thought I put this set on shorts. Apparently not. I'll have to change that. Uh, we'll just attack them. I do like the fact that summons are kind of immune to a bunch of crap. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was just kind of my thought because I'm like... Who's his actual opponents? I mean, presumably... That Xanar that particular Xanarkand has been around for quite a while. I mean, I guess it's probably something I just shouldn't think about, but it's just kind of I've always been kind of curious about that. Yeah, luck, sphere, okay. And I have an unlock. I wonder what I got my first unlock with him. Cause he doesn't because Xanarkin's kind of its own contained little thing. So, yeah. Oh, just something I've always kind of wondered about. Um. Really wish I'd made a new save. Uh, kill it in. I mean, I guess I can make a new save now. There isn't too much. I can easily, if I need to, run use this one to run back to where I am. Hmm. 
<laughs> Your customer. Okay, so that's what I currently have equipped. Abilities. <laughs> I should probably just buy one of each of these things just in case, but that's fine. Uh, I honestly don't think there's anything else I need here. Uh, let me take a look real quick. No, uh, not yet. All right, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Yep, I looked it up, and the next Albud primer is not until the boat. So, yeah, that's all I really care about. Off to Luca at last. Yep. The matches start soon as we get there, so rest up on the way, yeah. Have to go visit the captain thing. Okay. Part of the Luca goers, more Luca goers. I think I should be able to give a walk of the rest of his money as well. Oh. Oh, high potion. Perfect. Okay, let's see. There should be a save out here and. Okay, so a walker. They ask a fortune for me business is in sh mind spotting me some. Yeah. Okay, so I think I did either two or three thousand before, so if I do eight thousand and one that should be sufficient. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I looked it up and it's like for doing a little over a thousand, so a thousand and one, you get a half discount or eighty percent discount. It's it's like depending on there's like three or four levels and depending on how much you give them, it's a a different amount of a discount. And giving him ten thousand gets you like it's like a seventy percent discount. It is ridiculous how cheap everything is. Sold by him. Him and him alone. Um, okay. But we are going to call it there for an episode. I mentioned this in the last video um, about the earthquakes in both Taiwan and Japan. Uh, my mind is still scrambled. I can't, I can't make cohesive thoughts about it. But uh, I do send... I, I do want to wish everybody the best about that. It is very unfortunate when things like that happen. And, yeah, I wish them the best. But we will uh, we will make some more videos. Um, but until next time, we'll stay safe out there. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.